Hello everybody, I have another gaming budget computer video for you guys today. Now what makes this one special is that on my channel, I like to show you guys what you can do on a budget using older hardware on modern games. But in this video, I wanted to show you guys what you can get on the used market with newer parts but still staying in a budget price range. Now, why would you buy these newer parts if you can still get pretty solid performance out of the older ones I've shown? Well, newer parts actually allow for better upgrade paths as well as better performance. So I actually got this computer through OfferUp, which is a resource I love to use to help me find the best local deals. The LED lighting caught my eye and the guy was asking $400 for it, but I was able to negotiate it down to $300. Now, when I met up for the guy with the deal, he actually explained to me that all of these parts in this computer are brand new. Well, you might be thinking, Chris, what could have stopped this guy from lying to you about this computer being all brand new parts? Well, upon my personal inspection of everything in this computer, after checking the case fans, the radiator, the PSU cover, the battery fans, and just about any other part you can check, I couldn't find a speck of dust inside this entire case. So I actually believe this guy. I think everything in this computer is genuinely brand new. So since that is the case, everything inside here will be valued at a brand new price. So what's inside this thing? For the processor, we have an i5-6500 cooled by a Captain 240 AIO water cooler. Now, I've never heard of this water cooler, and honestly, I've never even seen anything shaped or looking like it. But from my experience with off-brand water coolers, they tend to do an okay job. Now, as for the i5-6500, it is a solid processor. It is definitely more than good enough for gaming, even though it only has the four cores and no hyper-threading. But something like this, considering the sixth generation architecture in the Intel processors, I think this would even be good enough for some content creation because I believe that this computer can handle rendering just fine, but obviously we're gonna see that in the benchmarks. As for the motherboard, we have an Asus Z170 Sabertooth. I've never worked with this motherboard in the past, but I can say one thing for sure that I absolutely love it. From the white camo paint job to the three PCIe 16 Express slots and the M.2 SSD slot, I can say that this thing is definitely something I would use for a personal build if I was ever going to build something around a 6th or 7th generation Intel processor. As for the RAM, we have every budget builder's DDR4 RAM of choice, and that is the very unimpressive looking Samsung 2400 8GB stick. If you're lucky, you can get this type of DDR4 RAM used for about 50 bucks, so if you're looking for something to throw in a newer build, go ahead and do this if you're on a budget. Now, the graphics card is an MSI GTX 760. And small side note, I've actually done the research on this card compared to a 750 Ti, and the 760 two gigabyte version actually tends to do about 10 to 15% better in terms of benchmarks on games. So if you can find a 760 to 10 to 15% more than a 750 Ti that you might have near you, go ahead and buy the 760. Now, as for the drives, this is actually the most interesting part of the build, in my opinion, because this actually has two SSDs inside. I'm not sure which one's the boot drive, but the first drive is a Samsung 860 Evo SSD that's 250 gigabytes, and the other drive is a 136 gigabyte ADATA XPEG M.2 SSD. Another small side note, if it's ever in your budget to choose between an M.2 or a traditional SSD, I highly recommend you get the M.2 SSD if your motherboard supports it. The main reason being is that if you get an M.2 SSD, all you have to do is slide it into the slot and screw it down on your motherboard. If you use a traditional SSD, not only do you have to use one cable to power it, but you have to use another SATA cable to get the data from that SSD into the motherboard. Overall, your build will look a lot cleaner if you can use and afford an M.2 SSD. Now the power supply is interesting too because I've never heard of this one either. It is an FSP Hyper M85 Plus 550 watt power supply. This power supply is actually bronze rated and that's the only reason I haven't taken this thing out of here already. For those of you who aren't familiar with computer building, you never want to have a cheap or unknown power supply in your rig. If something goes wrong with your power supply, it can literally take all of the other components with it if it fries. And finally, the case. This case is a DIY PC Model X RGB Black. I've never worked with this case before, but I can tell you one thing and that I absolutely love it. DIY PC is typically 
typically known to be your budget build, cheap, nice looking computer, but you could tell when you order, it's usually pretty flimsy and the material seems pretty weak and easily dentable. However, this case actually feels like it's made of quality material. And on top of that, I love the fact that this thing comes with a PSU cover because it actually adds to how clean the overall aesthetic of this build is. As for cable management, there isn't a ton of space in the back panel that allows you to hide the wires that you don't want to show, but it does do a good enough job if you know how to zip tie your cords down correctly. And obviously the last huge pro being the synced RGB lighting throughout the case. The front LED panel syncs up perfectly with the two built-in fans that come with the case and they're all synced through a cycling rainbow pattern. There is an LED switch on the front if you'd like to turn the lights off. I however love the RGB lighting and I know that most people do, so I would never even touch it. So now that we've gone through everything about this computer, if we add everything up in total, new, this computer is worth $800. That is terrible price to performance dollar ratio, and I would never build this thing brand new from scratch like that. And I don't recommend any of you do that either. So as you can see, this is an exceptional deal, and especially considering that this is newer hardware. So now that we've gone through all the parts, let's plug this thing in and get to the benchmarks. None of you guys care about the gameplay. I played so bad at the benchmarks this time around. Anyway, so let's get to the question that really matters at the end of the day. Is this computer worth $300? And the answer is, mm, yeah. Obviously on this channel, this isn't the craziest dollar to performance ratio we've ever seen, but there are still a couple of reasons why I think that this computer is worth $300. First of all, in terms of the gameplay, this computer actually was pretty decent. This computer right now would line up at about the same performance of something you would get from like iBuyPower or CyberPC for a $500 pre-built that they sell. So right off the bat, we got a $200 better deal than we would have if we just went and bought something in a store. Second of all, this computer actually has really, really insane upgradability. If this motherboard is flashed to the correct BIOS, it can actually support a 7700K, which is pretty insane considering we're using an i5-6100 right now. As far as the graphics card goes, obviously if you wanted to retain somewhat of your budget that you have right now, you could sell the 760 for about 
probably $80, $90 and use that money to get a better card because right now the main thing that is holding this computer back is the graphics card, which I really did have some concerns about because in the Unigen Heaven benchmarks, it did peak at about 98 degrees Celsius, which I've mentioned before, I don't ever like having a graphics card at anywhere near that temperature. That said, I actually didn't see any performance drops even though the graphics card was getting that hot, so I guess it's up to you to make the judgment call on if that's okay or not. As far as the aesthetic of this PC, this is better than anything you will probably ever see for $300. I love the RGB lighting. The glass plate on the side is actually not that flimsy tempered glass that you get with most budget cases. It's actually feeling like a solid piece of glass. I don't know if that sound does anything for you, but like this, this is some serious glass. Like this will shatter if I drop it. But yeah, that about wraps up this video. I'm really happy with the purchase. I'm probably gonna try and sell it for around $400, maybe keep it for myself and experiment with it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, wait, before I go, I have a couple announcements. Number one, I really, really, really wanna thank everybody who watches the channel and the videos. I know every YouTuber, at least every decent one says that, but I really wanna take a moment to just say that I, I love and appreciate the fact that you guys have found what I make to be worth watching. I, I really do appreciate that. And part of why I'm saying this right now is because the channel actually got approved to be monetized and to make ad revenue. And I wanna let you guys know that just straight up off the bat, I mean, just off the last like two days, I've, I've probably made $2 a day off of it. And every single dollar that comes into this that I continue to make, at least for the foreseeable future, I intend to just use it to help fund the channel and buy PC parts. I, I hope you guys know that off $2 a day, I'm not trying to be scummy and make, I don't know, any kind of profit off this. I just, I make these videos for me because I love doing it, but also for you guys, because I know you guys like to watch budget builds, as so do I. So I, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and, and supporting the channel. I don't remember if I had a second announcement. I, maybe I did, but, Anyways, uh, I guess I want to do another giveaway here in a little bit. So let's get to a good, nice round number of subscriber counts. Leave suggestions in the comments. And then I want to give away more stuff for you guys. I, I, I really do appreciate that you guys are sticking around. But uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.